Well, hello, this is Richard Sturdivant, and I just want to thank you for um, purchasing the Sturdivinci uh, Classic Oil Photoshop Painting Brushes. And uh, we're going to show you a little bit about them just for uh, and kind of show you what's in the package uh, and uh, get you started on this and show you how to load the brushes in case you don't know how to load them. Uh, and then tell you a little bit about the brushes. And so uh, this is the logo. So if you go to the site, you know, you probably already purchased this and downloaded it. But let's go ahead and look at the brushes. And this is a little stroke sheet that I made up. And get that off of there. And so anyways, it basically shows the brushes and what they look like in a paintbrush form, which that means just using a regular brush and painting with color. And then... These down here are mixer brush, what it looks like as a mixer brush. Now they're not saved as presets. I leave them, I leave them to where you could use each brush for, for a mixer brush, a paint brush, a clone brush, a history brush, an eraser. Uh, so they, they can totally be used for anything. But this is the kind of effects um, that I, you, you get from them. And as you can see with the oil brushes um, in the mixer mode, um, that you get some pretty cool effects there. You can really render some pretty nice painting textures. And, uh, and of course, over here where you get your loading uh, brushes and settings, and uh, you can see that you have your brushes up there are already loaded there. But here, uh, if you've never loaded brushes before, you'll go up to the top of your layers in your brush panel, and go up there and click on the little box right here where the yellow arrow is, and then that'll lead that'll pop up a drop-up menu and you go to import brushes and then just navigate to the folder that you have this stored in and click on um, classic oil brushes and click open and they'll automatically load into your Photoshop and it'll look much like this. Now you're going to notice that it goes from A and then goes to O. There is no B, C, D. Uh, there, uh, on the wildlife brushes it's got A, B, C through D. Um, I'm, of all the brushes I'm making, I'm giving each one a, uh, uh, basically a letter in the alphabet. So that way, as a whole of all the brushes, they don't get duplicated or mixed up or anything like that. So, uh, hopefully it works out pretty well, but it makes it pretty easy. So if I'm teaching and say, Hey, go, I need you to go to 07, uh, you quickly go to 07 and there you go. Now, as far as mixer brush settings. This is your little bar across the top, and here you have, and let me zoom in, you're going to have, um, you know, whatever brush you got selected. Um, here you've got whether you can have no paint or have paint. Uh, it'll probably come default with paint, so you'll need to turn that off and make sure that the no paint is highlighted if you're going to use it in the way that I will paint with it um, in most of my videos. Uh, so this is going to make it a mixer brush. Basically, in, in a sense, it's basically a clone brush that's painting on a blank layer with, um, you know, brush textures. And so it's cloning from underneath. So you get some pretty interesting effects. Uh, here I got wet 95 and uh, mostly 100% all the way across the board uh, for most brushes. Uh, now, if you want to slow the brush down, if it's too fast, you can bring down your wet. Uh, you can bring it down, uh, your mix, um, you can bring down to add a little bit of color if you want to add some color into there. Um, flow, you can also, I usually bring that down uh, and wet at the same time if I really want to slow a brush down and just and make it just be really, really faint. Um, now here, uh, check sample all layers. Uh, that will allow you to paint on a blank layer. Now you would make a blank layer over where, whatever area you're painting. Now it's very, be very careful though, not to uh, have layers above that layer that you're painting on with the mixer brush turned on. Because the mixer brush, when you've got sample all layers, it will pull from all of those layers. And so just remember that. Um, here's some bigger versions of it so you can see what it is. But uh, now there are other, this is a very powerful um, setup here. It can do so many things and, you know, don't worry about the word custom because anytime you change these settings, it goes to custom. But there are some, uh, and I'll, once we go into Photoshop, I'll, uh, 
I'll show you some of those, but um, you know, you can have different effects in here. They got presets, uh, so you could try that and play around with it. You're gonna you're gonna find that everybody has a little bit different taste on different brush strokes, and so uh, even the brushes here you can manipulate quite well. Uh, so we pull up here, and here are all the classic oil brushes, and these can be used again. They can be used as um, a paintbrush, an eraser a mixer brush, a comb brush, a history brush, um, anything you could use a brush pen tool uh, or pencil tool on them. You can use all of these brushes with if you like. So uh, I hope you had good success in uh, you know, playing around with these, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's go load the brushes. So I'm going to go up here and I've got my uh, Photoshop set up to where I've got all my tools on the right side. But in that tools, I got my little uh, tool panels here, and I can click here, and I got my brushes, which has a little pop-up window. I like going this way because when I open my brushes, I can navigate and find my brushes pretty easy. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I already have those brushes loaded, but I'm going to go over here and show you how to load them. I'm going to click this little icon and go right down here to import brushes. Okay, so now import brushes. Then I'm going to go over here to classic oil. Just hit open. And now those brushes are loaded in there. And I can pull this window out. And I can uh, arrange these however I like. And I usually kind of like it like that because I like to see a wide range of uh, different brush strokes and stuff. Now this sheet here also uh, that has all the different strokes, just as a visual, you know, kind of keep it in a folder on your desktop or whatever when you're painting you can kind of look and you might be looking for a special effect and you don't want to go through and try every brush just kind of look here and see what's close and then you can kind of go from there and from that point you can even change the settings on your brushes and go uh, go on so uh, anyways but this is all painted with 100% uh, black and this is a mixer and I believe I had uh, I added white so that I could show the difference on here uh, to that and that mix was about 56% on the white. So um, we're going to go here and let me create a new document. I'm going to go file, new, and let me go to inches. Uh, that's fine. Let's go a little small document there. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to click on my brushes and I'm going to check black. Now when I go to my brushes and I click here, so I can go to any one of these. Here's a soft round. There you go. All right. And, you know, here you got an A5 pencil. Okay. So there you go. Um, rough pencil. So you can kind of try all these out. Now, this is with black. Now, you can also bring down your opacity and build up with those pencils if you like as well. So let me go back history yeah and so I'm gonna bring the opacity back up uh, we can come down here let's go to um, this brush right here so we can kind of show that's at a hundred percent and then if I can hit percent if you just hit your key on your keyboard and see all kinds of things you can do very nice and that brush has got some really nice brush texture I'm going to hit zero on my uh, keyboard to go back to 100 and uh, so you got brushes down here too like um, mm, let's go to 017 and see it's got a lot of texture in it and we've got 20 you see man you can get some really gnarly stuff in there and then this one's good this is is also really good as a mixer brush and this is the 024 and it's got a really nice kind of cool texture to it and also down here and these are good paint brushes and so I kind of consider drawing with them uh, or painting with a paintbrush now when I come in here this is where and I go and get my mixer brush and I'll now, if you don't show your mixer brush in here, you probably have, which a lot of photographers do on your workspace. If you go here to workspace, uh, most photographers have it set on photography, which the mixer brush will not show on. 
you can either do a painting. I, I recommend going to Essentials Default and then customizing your own workspace. I, I, I think it's much better. Uh, but in any case, um, that mixer brush will show up. So you click that mixer brush. Now you go back, you can choose those same brushes. Now I'm going to put all of my settings at 100% uh, and I'm going to turn off my color. I got sample all layers on. And let's see what brush do I want now. I'm going to take this 09. And there's nothing there because there's no paint. So what I'm going to do is go back and get my brush. And just get a little bit of paint there. This way we can kind of show you what can happen with your mixer brush. Now we're gonna come right here, click on that mixer brush, and we're going to select we got 09. Now I can come up here. Now watch what happens. See now it actually has something to paint with. And so it's using all of the layers, the black and the white. Now you can also come over here and add a color. Let's say I want, let's say I want to add take my mix and let's say take my mix down to about 50 50 percent 49 50 is good and oh I didn't choose I didn't sure turn my color on so I have to turn my color on right here and that's a, and I can have both of these on at the same time and I got my color on my little swatch here now watch this see how it kind of integrates and it's that mix is gradually mixing with what's on all sample layers and also the color that you're mixing with. And I can increase that going to a little stronger color and just going straight with the, this color here. But it is also still mixing while it's engaging into the image. All right, so now that's a lot of fun. I like that. Now we can come over here and let's just try white now. Okay, and I'll go down and I'll go my mix, I'll go about 88%. And so very little. Let me change brushes. Let me change brushes here for a second. Um go down here to boy here, 046. And see this is got a little different, it's a real softer feel. Um, come down here to 041. And you see that also has a very textural feel to it as well. Now, so we come back over here, and uh, I didn't paint on a blank layer, I made a mistake on that, but uh, I'm just going to put a blank layer over top. It will paint on the same layer, it's just going to sample. Uh, but now I can come over here, turn the color off, and I'm going to uh, go to my mix to 100, and uh, wet, I'm going to take down to about 20. Flow, I'm going to take down to about 20. And I'm going to go and sample and uh, get, I'm going to get the spatter, my old go-to brush. Where did it go? Hmm. I thought it was in here. There we go. All right, so I've got my little spatter brush. And now I'm going to click over here and I'm going to paint over the top. I'm going to paint over this red right here. You see it's barely, oh, it's almost like a blender now. And now you can also come over here and you can go and get your, um, uh, let's get the soft round right here. And it's a 
the little border. So you can all see how there it is. Get rid of the texture. Okay, and then you can also let's go and get See, this one is at the flow in 20. Now, I want to show you. I'm going to take that all the way back up. So I'm going to go back to 100% on that. See how strong the brush is there? See how much more opaque and wet? Now, if you bring this back down, you got 20 here, and 20 there. Okay. You can see all of a sudden now it becomes a, a bristle blender. So the possibilities of this are absolutely endless with these brushes. Now, in my uh, uh, painting uh, oil portraits with uh, my classic oil brushes video, that will be on the site um, as well, and you can get that. It also has the brushes. Uh, so if you do get the brushes and then you decide you want the video, just give us a call. We'll, we'll make an adjustment to the, uh, to the uh, purchase price that we get. Okay? And so... I hope you like all this. I, I can't thank you enough for buying uh, the classic old brushes. And just, uh, you know, get in there, play with them, and just experiment. And don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to make any mistakes. So this is Richard Sturdivant. You can uh, you can go to sturdivinci.com, and you can email us through there through support at sturdivinci.com. And uh, if you have any problems, and we'll take care of that for you. And thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.